So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. As you may know, I actually got Oliver a brand new crib. And in order to protect the rails on it, we needed to get a teething rail guard. So our options were that you can either buy a really boring white one for fairly cheap or a nice one, which was actually very expensive. So I went with making his teething rail guard. So the way this works is that it actually just kind of you know, ties on it, it protects it so that if he bites the um, fabric, it's obviously not going to damage the crib. Okay, so I can't do a full in-depth video on how I made it, but I can kind of walk you through it. Plus, I'm going to have the blog post that I followed in the description, so you can check that out. Um, but first off, you're going to need two different fabrics, um, one for the side that you want to show, mm -hmm. and then one for the backing. And then you're also gonna need some batting, which is gonna go inside of it. And you're also gonna need some matching ribbon. So first thing I did was I measured the length of the crib, which showed me exactly how long I needed the fabrics on the outsides. And then I cut the batting one inch shorter on all the sides so that fits inside of the fabrics. All right, so next you're going to actually fold over all the sides of both the fabrics and fold, you're gonna fold it down a half inch and sew them so that there's a perfect edge. In the instructions it says to do this, but once I did this, I realized that I probably could have just ironed it pinned it and sewed it shut with both the fabrics. I feel like I could have done it that way because this is a really simple, really easy project and this is actually not even shown because it's folded over and so I feel like if it was imperfect, which this is, it would have been fine. So next before you actually sew the two pieces together, you're going to want to pin it all the way around and you're going to want to make sure that you include all the ribbons that you're going to want. You're going to want them to attach on the sides and also all through the actual crib. So I'm actually using 10 ribbons, and that makes it so that there's one tie on each side of the crib and then three ties in the middle. All right, so once you sew it all the way around shut, it's basically done. It seriously was such an easy project. It's so simple. Yeah, it's not perfect, but when it's, when it's tied on, it actually looks pretty dang good. Basically, I just wanted to do this video to show that, you know, you don't have to purchase every single little item for your child. You can easily, simply make really, really nice things for the crib that matches room. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial. Let me know what items you've made for your child in your nursery. Let me know some other items you think I should make for his new nursery. And just so you know, I actually am going to be doing a full nursery tour so you guys can see everything that I purchased, everything that I made once it's all done. I'm really, really excited. I'm really looking forward to it. You're excited, huh? It's nap time. All right, guys, so thumbs up this video if you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. Are you ready for your nap? Oh, there you go. Use the washcloth to help get it all off. Oh, well, oh. <laughs> I'm glad we used the headband to avoid water on my hair. This works really well. Yay. <laughs> All right, now we need to dry my face off.